Hello YouTube and Facebook friends and people online. This is Blind Justice again, signing in to play another audio clip from Wednesday night's uh, public safety committee meeting with the city council members. And we have question number, I guess probably three, but it's my, really my second point I was trying to get to, um, to try to get to some answers for these ordinances that they passed Wednesday night, which uh, prohibit or outlaw sitting or lying down on public sidewalks in the downtown area here in Aberdeen, Washington, and outlaw um, or prohibit uh, coercive solicitation. So we're going to, I'm going to set the clip up, clip up a little bit more. Uh, in this public safety committee meeting, I asked the, the, the committee members what the goal or purpose or their vision is uh, for these ordinances. What are they trying to accomplish? Um, by passing these ordinances, uh, should they pass? Because this is prior to the council meeting where they did their final vote on it. And the city council president, Tawny, is absent from the room at this point. She was in most of the meeting, and uh, I think the Como 4 News uh, showed up for an interview, so she left to go inter you know, do that interview. Um, so there's going to have two clips for you. First clip I asked the group, uh, and they're like, ah, oh, we don't really know the purpose for our committee submitting these ordinances. These council members don't know the purpose or the reason why they're passing or voting on uh, potentially passing <laughs> ordinances. Uh, so I made that comment at the city council meeting um, following this uh, this committee meeting. Like, hey, I asked you, know, you guys for the purpose and the goal, and, and you guys failed to articulate purpose or goal, they kind of pointed the finger to Tawny. Uh, unique to Tawny because she's the city council president. She's also the the person who drafted uh, these ordinances. So that's the first clip is them saying, oh, we don't know, talk to Tawny. And then we ha we talk a little bit more about you know, um, failed attempts of contacting the council members because of maybe potential uh, problems with their voicemail system. And then Tawny comes back in the room. So the second clip, we cut out the, the whole discussion of their voicemail system issue. Um, just shorten the video. So then we'll do the second audio clip where Tawny gives an answer. And so here we go. We'll do the first one with the group. And what is, what's the, and what is the goal, I guess? I, it's the other thing. I haven't found any written statement from the council like what the purpose or the goal of the ordinances are. What, what is the, the end point that you're trying to achieve with the ordinances? Well, I, I think that's self-stating by reading the ordinance. But well, doesn't doesn't state a purpose or goal. It just says this is what's going to happen. And if Tony were here, that would, she, she'd probably be, give you the best answer. She she's, she developed the, she's the original sponsor of the list. Right, right. She'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. May I just talk to her one on one? Ask her that. Sure. Mm -hmm. She'd be happy to talk to you about um, one on one. She's very good at yeah. you know responding. Yeah, so I, I go on to say, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of them and failed. And um, so um, the chair, John Smith, tried to answer. Uh, that's pretty self-evident. It's in the ordinance. Well, the ordinance doesn't say we're drafting these ordinance, these ordinances for this purpose. This is what we're trying to achieve. They don't. It just doesn't state that. So it doesn't give a why. It doesn't give the reason for the ordinances. So I was asking them for the reason, and they're like, uh, we, well, we don't know. Ask Tawny. So now we're going to get Tawny's answer. Sure, question if you'd like. Yeah, um, I was just curious if, if someone could state from the council like a purpose or this, like a, what the vision or the goal is for the, the two ordinances that are getting. What are the vision tonight. and the goal? Yeah, well, what, what are you uh, trying to achieve? Like, what's the you know what's the goal? Okay, so um, when I was running for re-election, I just went through this one. The TV station downstairs. Uh, when I <laughs> when I was running for the re-election, um, I met with the police guild and the, the police union and the um, fire union and listen to their concerns about the types of calls that they get called to. And then obviously I've been on council for four years now, and five now, and I've heard, I hear the same complaints over and over again. And with panhandle, with the solicitation one, I, the, the biggest concerns are people getting approached in the parking lots when they're trying to shop. Sure. And that, you know, the solicitation one, address that the best when I did all my research I went through there's a site called MSR 
MRSC. And sorry, my nerves are a little up right now because I just got interviewed and I didn't know I was going to be interviewed for Como 4 TV. So I'm a little, but um, but anyway, so so I did a lot of research and I looked at a lot of different city ordinances and the language in this one kind of covered a lot of our citizens' concerns with the solicitation. So that's why I went with Puyallup's. And then as far as the the sleeping time one, we have. Um, ordinance was already on the books about not blocking sidewalks and such, but a lot of those are hard to enforce unless you have some specifics, and that's why, you know, a time range is usually works well as far as enforcing that and helping that area, and I originally had suggested 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. just because I thought 7 to 7 would be easy for our law enforcement to um, enforce. And then it was amended to 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. by another city council person. Yeah. So. Right, but so what's the purpose for that one? I understand the purpose for the Just to help, to, because, you know, unfortunately, um, and it's not targeted at homeless people because the majority of the people I believe or I see sleeping downtown or they're not all, you know, they're, there's quite a few of them that just uh, congregate and drink and such. And they, you know, urinate publicly and defecate publicly, and a lot of, you know, there are citizens. There against those too, right? It's against them just sitting there and just being. No, no, you know, there, lame. there are there already are on the yes. the municipal, municipal code here. There's ones against public urination and defecation there is. already. So. But it's just a way to keep the sidewalks clear and it's a behavior. It's targeted. Not yeah, not it's a yeah, it's a behavior, not a population. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for helping me out. Yes, Pete. Well, there's a lot of new changes since these original ordinances were made. Correct. Made as far as courts and Correct. you know legal issues, and so you, what's happened is they need to be more specific now in order to actually have the ability to enforce them. Uh, you can't generalize like. They evidently did back when the, in the Correct. Case. And that's all this does is, is to specify the issue uh, more so that it can be enforced. That is correct. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I want to share with the Okay, so that, um, that's the end of that clip. So Tawny uh, is a little frazzled. Um, she, I she said she was nervous because she just got a surprise interview from Como 4 TV and then she came up and and was being interviewed by myself. Um, so she gives, uh, she takes a while to get her legs and try to, to answer the question for why. You know, why did, why did you write these ordinances? What's the purpose? What are you trying to accomplish um, with the ordinances? And she says with the solicitation one, um, she, they've gotten a lot of complaints from people not feeling safe shopping, like in Safeway parking lot or in the Walmart parking lot. Um, so, it was because people were afraid of other people asking them questions. She didn't give specifics of, of the complaints, um, of the nature of the solicitation, right, from these complaints. So we really don't know uh, too much of the why, other than people were afraid um, to shop in certain places. Okay, so we can set that one aside for a minute, and let's look at the sidewalk one. So when we ask about the sidewalk one, she starts to say that she did research, and that she was you know, looking at other cities and what they did. And then she goes on to trying to figure out how do I answer a why. Uh, she kind of touches it by saying it's trying to make it uh, easier to enforce, which doesn't really say why yet. So I ask again, but okay, that doesn't, that doesn't give us the purpose. And then she gets uh, a little bit of help, I think, from... Uh, Karen Rowe is another council member who says that it's uh, trying to target a behavior and but they don't explicitly say what behavior they're targeting right and neither does the ordinance other than lying down and, and sitting down on the sidewalk um, Tawny does say at one point to it helps to clear the sidewalk and then it goes over to Pete who is I think another city council member and Pete uh, echoes the these ordinances will make it easier to enforce my previous ordinances, uh, other places, uh, were too vague, too general, and so we need to make it more specific. There's been changes to these specific ones, 
to make it more specific so they can make it easier to enforce. So you decide whether or not that's a purpose or that's a reason. I'll, I'll, I'll restate kind of what just happened. The question is, why do you want to make or why do you want to outlaw or prohibit sitting and lying down on the sidewalk? That's the question. Answer. To make it easier to enforce getting people off the sidewalk. Does that answer? Is that a purpose? Is that a why? Like, that doesn't really answer the question, right? It doesn't fit an answer for that question. Um, I mean, it is an answer. If I asked you what color is this table, and you said elephant... <laughs> So you gave me an answer to the question, but is it is it a relevant, logical answer to the question? And uh, it doesn't sound like what uh, the city council president, Tawny, and her um, fellow council people tried to do in their answers, that they didn't really address the purpose. Uh, so it sounds like they really don't know why, or if they do know why, then they're, they fail to articulate it. They probably know why, and we all probably know why, right? They don't want to see... Um, less fortunate or disenfranchised people uh, living wherever they can live. They want to try to shoo them away, out of sight, out of mind, not deal with uh, suffering, right? Instead of engaging with people that are suffering and, and helping people. Um, so these, yeah, it's all about enforcement. Like, like we want to clean the streets was one of the things, or clean, clear the sidewalk, I think was the direct quote. Helps clear the sidewalk. Okay, why? Why do you want to clear the sidewalk? Clear the sidewalk from people. Okay, but why? What, what behaviors are you trying to get rid of? Right, more questions. No answers. Stay tuned for uh, another clip.